Murray, I hear you've been working on something big. Certainly have, something very important. Let me guess, something mid-size? Perhaps. Fusion? Perhaps. And I think we've done a pretty good job in it, but I'd, li I'd like to know what you think. Wow, this is a mid-size car? This is, this is next generation Fusion, yes. This looks like a luxury car. Well, that's, we'd like to hear that, but, but again, it's, it, this is the next Ford Fusion and we, we really think that people will appreciate the appeal of it. So let me show you around. Let me, excuse me. Get all sorts of toys around here. <laughs> Amazing place. Turntables, I love them. Cars, cars actually standing around. still. It's the rest of the world that's going around. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the proper world the car guys yeah. live. <laughs> One of the important factors when we started designing this was actually one of the things we talk about is silhouette innovation. And we really wanted this car to look very sporty, very coupe-like, but at the same time having space for five adults inside. So, so that's really the challenge. I mean, to design a, a five-seater family sedan that looks Someone really sporty. Someone my height sit in the back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's got very competitive headroom in the back. Wow. I guess I can sit there and see if I can do this. Wow, there is a lot of room back here. Yeah, so it's, a, so it's, it's actually really quite, quite disguised in terms of the, the sportiness of the car. At the same time, it's also a, a great size trunk in the, in the vehicle too. So although it looks like a coupe or a hatchback, it's actually a, a three box, a, a sedan, normal sedan vehicle. Was this done here in yeah, Dearborn? Yeah, this was done in Dearborn, but in collaboration with all our studios globally, which is, which is how we work these days. If you think about it, from the last time you did this car, your parameters were kind of set because it shared platforms yeah. of the vehicles and you were at a point where it's the first strong entry in that segment. Yeah. Since then, Kia came out with the Optima no, some, and the Sonata very strong competition and out the there. design changed and now there's beauty in that. And I think the great thing is that, that we can see that design generally is really helping to sell cars. So, so the, our first very limited brief for this was Jamie said, Design, design me a drop dead gorgeous car. So, although it's, a, it's an easy thing to say, it's sometimes a little bit difficult to do. And I think, as I say, I think we've done a pretty good job. And, and in terms of this being a sort of full size, a, a, a five seater family sedan, I think it's, it does, it's a very effective job being a very sort of uh, um, athletic, very sporty looking vehicle. So, at what point, like how long did this project start? I think we started this probably about 18 months ago, I think, uh, in, in Dearborn, and it's, it's been working. We're coming to the culmination now, obviously, when we're going to show it. At the Is that quicker? Yeah, we're, we're generally doing, doing projects quite a bit quicker these days through, through digital in, uh, innovations and through simultaneous engineering. We're, we're yeah. able to get to cars to market quick. So you uh, had the benefit of seeing how the landscape has changed. Yeah, very much so, yes. Yeah. So, so, I mean, and, and as I say, we know that there's very strong competition out there really being driven by design as well. Yeah. So that gives us a lot of ammunition to get what we want in design also. Mid-size, that's a tough segment. Yeah. What are some of the challenges you had to face to make a car look like this in that segment? I think what you have to do is get the, get the basics right. And the basics in car design is the proportions. And it's really important in this car to get the proportions right. You know, it's getting the wheelbase. The wheelbase is quite a bit longer than today's Fusion. The roof, getting the roof height right. And getting the overall proportions of the body side, the sight and the, and the language of the body side right. And so it's really to do with getting that, what we call the stance. Getting the, the wheels to the corners of the car, making the car really look like it hugs the road. So the stance of this car is very important. I think it really affects, it really affects that sort of visual sportiness of the vehicle. 2006 is about when Alan came to town. So how much of the change in the company structure affected yeah. really a this is a, you know, I look at this and I, yeah. I'd be shocked to say that's a Ford. Well, I think, obviously, Alan put the emphasis back on Ford as, as the main brand for, yeah. for us to work on. So we've been able to really garner the influence of all our design studios around the world. And as we're designing, you know, global products now, we're able to use our, the, the, the studios we have. So we've, we've got a great talent of designers around the world. And, and I think design has really taken the lead on how to work globally and, and work as one Ford. And so this has been a really, really important project for us to show how we can work as, as a team globally. And what about the interior? What was yeah, the interior again is very. We feel it's very special. It's uh, the interior obviously has to sort of meet the dynamic quality of the exterior as well. So we have this very slightly driver orientated uh, um, instrument panel, but at the same time still giving you an open sp sort of spacious feel to the interior. Also, what we wanted to do was give the whole the interior again a bit of this visual lightness we're to, uh, that we were searching for, which really opens up the space around the customer and the, the driver. Any specific challenges in designing a car that was going to have so many different platforms, electric, yeah. gasoline? Uh, the, yeah, I think there's always a little bit of a challenge. But but the challenge also is doing a global product is, is, is meeting all the global regu regulations and legislation as well and uh, so that's, that's really one of the big challenges. Let me show you one of my favorite parts of the car. If you don't mind, I'm going to turn it. Are we going to go for a ride in the turntable now? Yeah. Oh, i got to stay on for this. 
I'm afraid this is as fast Very as it fast. goes. Yeah, I'm sorry. Come on, you want a fast looking car, you gotta have a fast turntable, Murray. If you wait another five minutes, it winds up, you know. <laughs> the mice are still running. Get a little bit of exercise on yes. this. Okay. The front of the car really is, is one of the, one of the favorite parts of the car to me. It's uh, starting off with what we call technical graphics. And, uh, you know, if you look at a lot of cars today, headlights have got bigger and bigger and bigger. And we sort of said, we sort of said you know, let's sort of reset the, the, the button and sort of bring the lamps down to the smallest we can get them. So we, we call these sort of laser cut headlamps, very, very narrow, but very highly detailed at the same time. Really nice details in these headlamps with the projector, the projector lights and the, and the technology that's put into them. And technology is allowing us to get headlamps slow, smaller as well. Then the other thing, of course, is the grill of the car. And what we've done, if you notice on the, Current Fords to now up to this point, we've, we've introduced what we call the trapezoidal grille, which yeah. has been lowered down in the car. We've lifted that grille up, so it's actually become more prominent, and we feel gives the car a, a higher premium and a higher value to this the car. The we've also even the taken the, the Ford badge and put it in the, on the on the top surface and, and, oh, and embedded that. it into the surface as well, which again has given us the car a little bit more, we think, higher value to the, to the overall quality of the vehicle. Is it my imagination or is that logo different? It's, it's, it's actually a new batch for this car, yes. We've actually inset the chamfer, so it's, uh, so it's actually under flush to the body, so it's a nice, nice new detail. Really, this is what we're saying is the new face of Ford, so you'll recognize this, this, the technology in this face and the, and the, the shapes on this as, as we move forward in next generation of Ford. It's kind of like your stamp on Ford now. This is it, yeah. How long have you been with the company now? I've been with the company 20, 22 or 23 years, wow. I think, yeah. And this is probably the most exciting time I've been here. What was the first project you worked on at Ford? I worked on a... a a project called the Ghia Via back in Italy 20, 20 something years ago. I'd like to show you a bit of the history of the car and how we got to where we are today. I love the story. I just wanted to show you some of the sketches right at the beginning of the program and you can see that a lot of them are actually capturing what the car looks like today in terms of the really nice simple refined surface language, the overall profile of the car. The, the face of the car even starting to happen there and all of these sketches and looking to see how we can change the visual proportions of the vehicle even you notice the location of the badge we, we really talked about what, what we can do to make really give this car a real high value look how much has this been done alongside say what you did with the focus and the escape because those are bold designs for what yeah. they are too. And I think I think it's the right kind of boldness for the for the that the segment. I, th I think you know the, the the focus and the escape can be a little bit more cheekier. I think, but this has to be a little bit more sophisticated. And I think that's what we've we've really managed to do with this car. Definitely sophisticated, but I think you've moved the the marker higher with this design. Well, well, we hope that each car we come out is going to be higher and higher every time we do it. So hopefully this uh, hopefully the next one's even better.